I welcome you to our humble home. Starting off on the gate, we have a little detail and this is called the windrows. In Italian, they call it Rosa dei Venti. This is the view you'd see when entering our gate. Here is our big gate and it also has the windrows on it. Hop along and I will walk you through around our house. On this angle is showing some of our windows. This is the garage when empty. The only herb we have in this house is this sage or salvia in Italian. Everyone, I'd like you to meet our friendly dog, Oliver! Now, let's go and see the first part of the house. This used to be a workshop where his grandfather works, and now we have used it as a storage area slash my husband's area where he exercises. It is already basically empty because at the time of this video, we already started to move some of our stuffs in the new house. Going out, we see at the foot of the stairs are two lions. My husband is just so fascinated about these two. Actually, our house isn't the only one with a symbol of a lion. With some research, the lion here symbolizes bravery, nobility, and strength. The living space is up here. This house was renovated before my husband lived here. This is equipped with an anti-theft alarm system. This is the view we see from up here, seeing the sun rising from the front of our house every morning. I welcome you again in our living space. Our awning here is motorized. This is our living room.
I was pregnant at the time of this video, hence the exercise ball in the middle of the room. On this side shown here is where our heaters are. The shelves here were once full of stuffs, but we have transferred most of it in the other house already. Our house transfer is just paused for the moment at this time because my husband went to work. This is his collection of grappa. A grappa is a grape-based alcohol beverage containing 60% alcohol. This is traditionally produced here in the northern Italy. These are his other collection. Some shot glasses from all over the world. Down here are some wine glasses, which is a staple in Italian houses. Because here, a house can't be without a wine. And some bottles and decanter. Some collection of gemstones. And some pines from the sea. This room to the left from the entrance is our library. The shelves here were full of books too, but are already boxed and transferred. You can see on this side, there are still empty boxes waiting to be filled up. Left on the shelf is a puzzle of our wedding photo. All the frames hanging on the walls of our library are maritime related. Only essential stuffs are just left on our study table. We resumed packing our things when my husband returned. This is the view from our library. To the right from here is where our shoe rack is and where we hang our clothes. Beyond that door is our service room. We have our washing machine, the heater, and some cleaning materials. I just transferred a rain scale here temporarily for my convenience. And now this door leads to our kitchen. I will just give you a quick walkthrough. Behind the door is the heater. And this next door leads to our hallway. This divides the day room and our personal spaces. The black one is heater sensor and controller. The white one is a controller for our house alarm system. Hanged on the opposite wall are Egyptian paintings and papyrus. And to the first room on the right is our bathroom.
it has its own heater too. On the typical Italian bathroom, there seem to have two toilet bowls, but actually the other one on the right is just a bidet. On a clear weather, this window has a nice view of the mountains. Now we go to the next room. This is just an extra room. Inside the cabinets, we have here our things that we rarely use too. This is the same room where I used to hang our clothes. This just turns out to be another service room. We live near a church. From this window, we can see the church tower. And to the final room in this house, our bedroom. Our house is always bright with natural lighting from the sun. This saves a lot of electricity and at the same time makes it seem so fresh. We also have a 1500 piece puzzle here, which is our first puzzle we assembled together. On top of the drawers here are the three preserved flowers I used in our wedding. So, this is how these areas seem like when all the doors are open. Thank you for coming along with me on this walkthrough of our house. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment on which part of our house you like or if you have any suggestion of videos you might want to see next. Till next time, 